Welcome back, welcome back. I've just gone uh, 22 minutes past four. My guest, his name is uh, Patrick Callahan Lane. Uh, he's a personal development consultant and a creator of One Source Personal Development Network. Good afternoon, sir. Well, good afternoon to you. How are you today? Very well. You where about, sir? You tell our listeners where you are living at the moment. Well, I tell you, I'm currently living um, in, in Ireland. I've been here for 21 years, uh, originally from the States. Right, let's talk about, uh, first of all, before we talk about resolutions, what does a personal development consultant do? We, we're a global network of personal development consultants who work with people to create lasting change. Uh, we have a, a proven system that we use when we work with an individual to get them to, to, to do primarily three different things. First off, to control and direct our focus on a daily consistent basis. Okay. Then we make sure that you know we make sure that all the key areas of their life, well, they're, that that they're balanced. Because if your life is out of balance in any of the key areas, whether it be your relationships, your health, finances, your growth, well, you're 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 not going to be you know living a life you know that you really deserve to be living. And then finally, we we help them to identify their purpose. You know, the the purpose is their why, as far and the things they're doing, the vision of the future, you know, the um, the objective, so to speak, as far as what they're hoping to achieve. Okay, if sure. if, if if you, because uh, it's times are changing and 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 life changes and everything else. Even though you lay down those uh, uh, specific uh, key elements to it, how do you make sure that you you stay in the straight and narrow and life and people and the world itself doesn't actually uh, shun you into a different uh, path? Yeah. Well, first off, what we what what we do is we match you up with an accountability partner, somebody who's going to hold you accountable. But also, too, we make sure that everything is realistic. Okay. Or not, you know, you're, you, we have to, first off, we have to take, we have to be realistic as far as establishing a baseline, determining exactly where you are right now based on your previous behavior, and then where you want to get to. And then we create a path. We go ahead and we design certain actions that you can do on a daily, consistent basis okay. that's going to pretty much bridge that, you know, bridge the gap from where you are. Okay. Oh. All right, so so let's move on to uh, uh, New Year resolutions. Um, so yeah, that's a good uh, one. A good one, right? Uh, how, why do people? Where does it come from? Uh, keeping a new res or starting a new re resolutions, and why do they do it? And then we'll talk about why they don't keep up to it. The experience I find people love a fresh start, a clean slate, and a new year really represents that it gives you the opportunity to go ahead and you know wipe the slate clean and start fresh but the problem with most most new year's resolutions that i find they're, they're not realistic what they do is they, they tend to overestimate what can be achieved in 30 days or so and they completely underestimate what they can do over the course of a year so they're expecting too much too quick the key is, like I say, to, to set realistic goals and then to go ahead and, you know, to, um, to direct your focus to creating daily consistent actions you can do. The key thing, I guess, is be realistic. Start from where you are, you know, not to where you want to be. You have to, you have to be honest with yourself. And did you keep a New Year's resolution this year? I keep New Year's resolution every year I've been doing for well, the last 10 years anyway I I'm pretty consistent with my resolutions yeah how about you well I, I don't, <laughs> actually I must admit I don't keep it because what I do my game my ga ga goal is every year uh, to be content with what I've got and, and not try to achieve uh, over and above uh, that I can and therefore I don't get disappointed and therefore I don't need to uh, have a fresh start because every day to me is a fresh start so uh, wh why so we've, we've talked a little bit about why people keep resolutions but why do they break it very quickly is it because they are they're much higher than they uh, they're less achievable well they're, they're less achievable and and they and they really they they set themselves up to fail because they First off, they don't put an accurate plan in place. Um, they they don't track their progress on, 
a plan as far as, you know, monitoring their actions on a daily consistent basis, making sure that they're following through. But a big part of it has to do with other areas of their life because I find that most people, their lives are out of balance as far as the fact that, you know, uh, maybe they, they want to lose weight or they want to stop smoking or they want to uh, just eliminate some other negative behavior. And so that's what they're focusing on and they're doing a great job. But maybe if their relationships are not where they need to be, that's kind of pulling them in that direction. Or if their finances aren't in order. To really, you know, to, to achieve a lasting result, you need to ensure that all the key areas of your life are in balance. They don't have to be perfect, but you can't have any of them that are out of control. Like, I always say that, you know, to live a successful life, you have to achieve and maintain a level of success, not in just one area, but more specifically in four areas. Your relationships, your level of health and fitness, your personal growth, and your finances. If you can do that, until you, you'll always, you'll always be able to maintain, you'll always have a good flow, and you'll be able to, you know, keep on track. But otherwise, you're, you're going to keep being distracted, you're going to be pulled in different directions, you're going to be reactive and not proactive. But equally at the same time, let's take one of those key elements, which is the emotional part uh, or relationships. Uh, they, sure. they tend to uh, uh, push and pull you in all directions. And, and, uh, and how, do you, how do you, I can see the connection between that and New Year resolutions. How do you make sure, I, I know you said there'll be a buddy there, but how do you make sure, or how do the individual make sure that they, they stay, or stay thinking what they want to achieve? Well, again, that all has to do with focus. But when you bring up a good point there, when you talk, you use the example of relationships. Their most important relationship is always their relationship with themselves. Okay. They need to make sure, you know, that they're, they're being, you know, taking time and being good to themselves because that's the most important. You're going to bring that relationship everywhere you go. But also, all you can do is the best that you can do as far as when you're working with somebody else. You cannot be responsible for somebody else's actions. So, but yeah, that's, it's, it's, with relationships, you know yourself, they can be challenged. Yeah, oh, absolutely. But just going back to this point, uh, you know, we, we want to manage our own expectations, but we also uh, uh, try to manage other people's expectations. So, you, you, your statement earlier on, the one before, you just said that you don't want to uh, look after other people, but just look at your inner self. How do you do that when you're trying to sort of achieve uh, certain goals for the other person as well as yourself within the relationship? You don't set goals for the other person. Okay. You, you focus on yourself. I have no expectations from anybody else to the best of my ability. I don't always succeed, but that's what I try to direct my focus to. So, again, I'm not setting up expectations for people I work with, for, you know, my family members, you know, to the best of my ability. Okay. How many people do you think actually fail their new resolutions? Uh, I would say probably closer to 85, 90%. Wow, as much as that. Why is well, that? Well, that's the ones that I come across anyway. Why, why, why is that? Is it because they, they, give, uh, they give up very quickly? It's New Year's. They feel they should do it. They set these resolutions. And within the first week, 10 days, they tend to forget about it. But if, if you're going to be serious about it, you've got to set a committed decision. Okay. So are you saying setting uh, a New Year's resolution is also like setting uh, goals for yourself? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 100 yeah. percent. A resolution is nothing more than a goal. Right? Rather, it be if it's, say, quit smoking, you reduce your alcohol intake, whatever the case may be. Okay. That, that, all that is is a goal that, you're, that you're, you're trying to achieve, or even if it's improving your relationships or any of, anything along those. And should you, should you think, should you question yourself? in what is right and wrong within yourself. You said this earlier on, and then, and then be objective enough to actually say, I want to put this right within myself before I actually start to uh, try to pass this on to other people or, in, or enjoy other people's companies. Well, again, if, if your relationship with yourself is in a good, strong, solid position, you're going to bring that relationship 
to other relationships and you're you're going to primarily you're you're going to be in a position that you know you can work with people you can be enjoyable to be around all right let's talk about one source personal development network what is that well the one source personal development network is a global network of personal development consultants that all we have a proven system that we work with our clients that guarantee results and we currently have a number of consultants in the UK we have consultants here in Ireland we have uh, consultants in the States and we're looking at other parts of the world right now as well that we're actually have some students uh, studying the program in. okay and and how do you deliver this uh, uh, during this pandemic if, if at all you're going to do that Oh, well, we do do it all the time. Uh, we do we, we do it all the time through Zoom or through other online uh, media's. But we we work with individuals on a one to one basis. We also go in and we work with a number of different businesses that we will go in and we will um, work with their staff. Obviously, with the lockdown, we can't be doing face to face. But Zoom works quite well. Brilliant. All right. So, uh, where can people find out more details about you? Uh, what you do, uh, Patrick? If anybody wants to get a hold of us, they can go ahead and first off, you can go to the website, which is www one source o n e s o u r c e i t dot com. So, one source i c t dot com. Or, if anybody is interested. They can go ahead and feel free to email me directly. You can email me at Patrick P A T R I C K at one source I C T dot com. And anybody who is interested, get hold of me. I will match you up with an accountability buddy for uh, for the first thirty days free of charge. Wow. And what we'll do is we'll we'll go ahead and we'll work with you. We'll get we'll set your goals. We'll make sure that they're realistic. We'll keep you on track, keep you focused, and you know, again, thirty days, no charge whatsoever. And if you want to continue working with the consultant after that, well, that's fine. And if you don't, that's okay too. But we guarantee results, one hundred percent. Brilliant, Patrick Callalane. Thank you very much indeed from uh, uh, a personal development consultant and from One Source Personal Development Network. Thank you very much for your valuable time coming to uh, talk to us here on Unity One Hundred and One. Thank you. I appreciate all the time. All right. All the best. Thank Happy you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Thank you. All right.